Ô oh, mãe. This is an uh, ongoing eruption of La Supra, as seen from, from Richmond. Well, not exactly Richmond. We are along the Leeward coast. I was in uh, Fancy this morning. Or when I went to Oya because I went to Oya yesterday to report on the aftermath, the aftermath of the eruption. And I lost a piece of equipment. So I went up there very early this morning to try to look for it. But I didn't get that equipment. But uh, on our way back, the volcano just erupted again. And this is a significant eruption explosion compared to what we had seen before. I'm on board with some residents of Fancy. There's a farmer, Mr. Ballantyne, and some other folks. He has some of his produce and some, some of his goats that he evacuated. Yes, uh, the water is, uh, it, it is very windy, not very rough. The water is very rough, but it's very windy, and therefore, that's why you're seeing uh, there's some water on, on the lens of my, my device. So. This is heavy lava flows that you're seeing here as a result of the previous eruptions that we would have had from the volcano. And now you have the heavy rains and there's flooding all over the island. Here is the um, Rabaka Bridge that joined um, the village of Sandy Bay, Ovia. Judge, Tom, and so on. So, you know, um, those last villages, no one will be able to cross to go over that side because of what is happening here right now. And um, there are people who are losing homes and so on. And the agriculture se sector is being um, affected again. Livestock and so on, you know, being affected also and people's lives. Have been affected but all of this is just nature speaking to us the earth is cleansing itself showing us that we have to cleanse ourselves also we have to cleanse our minds we have to cleanse our thinking you know because everything that is happening on the outside is what is going on on the inside you know there are some people who have doubts and fear and who are superstitious and religious and they're going to say, oh, we are living in the last days and these things must come to pass. And everything is written in the Bible. Yes, everything is written in the Bible because it's all mental, it's all psychological. And the Bible is just the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. Because it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and actually creating your personality. So everything that you see happening on the outside is to show us that what should be taking place on the inside. So the same creative power could become destructive power. And that is why you have to understand the polarity. Therefore, we must use our mind creatively. We must think creatively also. And we must always think in terms of joy, peace, happiness, and tranquility. And being in alignment with the rest of nature. Nature wants to be in harmony with us all the time. Because, you know, we are the one who is out of harmony. And, you know, therefore there must be a purging, there must be a cleansing. You know, just as you cleanse your body, whether through fasting and so on, you claim the physical man through fasting and so on. So too, 
you know, the earth must cleanse itself, you know, every half, and we go to the washroom and so on, it's the body cleansing itself. So this is just, you know, the earth showing you, you know, everything that is without, it is within. All things exist within. And let me say this, whether you agree or not, God and man is man's imagination. That is why we must cleanse our thinking. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, don't just look at this destructively. See that you have to remove things out of the way so that you can, you know, put in new things. So, sometimes you have to break down to build up. Remember, there's always a time for everything on earth and under the sun. Peace.